Often the lonely receives love, the creator's help. Though heavy with care, over the sea he suffers long. Stirring his hands in the frosty swell, the way of exile, fate never wavers. The wanderer spoke, he told his sorrows, the deadly onslaughts, the death of the clan. At dawn alone I must, mouth my cares, the man does not live, whom I dare tell my depths straight out. I see truth in the lordly custom for the courageous man to bind fast his breast loyal to this treasure closest, thoughts aside. The weary cannot control fate, nor do bitter thoughts settle things. The eager for glory often bind something bloody close to their breasts. Wretched, I tie my heart with ropes, far from my home, far from my kinsmen. Since a hole in the ground hid my chief, long ago laden with cares, weary, I crossed the confine of waves, sought the troop of a dispenser of treasure, far or near to find the man who knew my merits in the mead hall. Who would foster a friendless man, treat me to joys? He who has put it to a test knows how cruel a companion is sorrow. For one who has few friendly protectors, exile guards him, not wrought gold, a freezing heart, not the fullness of the earth. He remembers warriors, the hall, rewards. How, as a youth, his friend honored him at feasts. The gold-giving prince, joy has perished. He knows how it is to suffer long, without the beloved wisdom of a friendly lord. Often when sorrow and sleep together bind the worn, lonely warrior, it seems in his heart that he holds and kisses the lord of the troop and lays on his knee, his head and hands as he had before, in times gone by at the gift giver's throne. When the friendless warrior awakens again, he sees before him the black waves, sea birds bathing, feathers spreading, frost and snow falling with hail. The wounds of his heart are heavier. Sore after his friends, sorrow is renewed. When the mind ponders the memory of kinsmen, he greets them with joy. He anxiously grasps for something to say. They swim away again. The breasts of ghosts do not bring the living much wisdom. Woe is renewed for him who must send his weary heart way out over the prison of waves. Therefore, in this world, I cannot think of a reason why my soul does not blacken when I seriously consider all the warriors tested at war, how they suddenly sank to the floor. The brave kinsmen, but this world, every day falls to dust. No man is wise until he lives many winters in the kingdom of the world. The wise must be patient, never too hasty with feelings, nor too hot with words, nor too weak as a warrior, nor too witlessly brash, nor too fearful, nor too ready, nor too greedy for reward, not even too feverish for boasting until testing his fiber. A man should wait before he makes a vow, until, like a true warrior, he eagerly tests which way the courage of his heart will course. The good warrior must understand how ghostly it will be when all the world of wealth stands wasted. As now, in many places about this massive earth, 
Walls stand battered by the wind, covered by frost, the roofs collapsed. The wine halls crumbled. The warriors lie dead. Cut off from joy, the great troop all crumbled. Proud by the wall, one war took. Led to his death, one a bird lifted over the high sea. One the hoary wolf broke with death, one bloody cheeked. A warrior hid in a hole in the ground. Likewise, God destroyed this earthly dwelling until the strongholds of the giants stood empty without the sounds of joy to the city dwellers. Then the wise man thinks about the wall and deeply considers this dark life. From times far away, the wanderer recalls the deadly slashes and says, what happened to the horse? What happened to the warrior? What happened to the gift giver? What happened to the wine hall? Where are the sounds of joy? Isla Brightbeaker, Isla Bernied Warrior, Isla the Chief's Majesty. How those moments went, grayed in the night as if they never were. A wall still stands near the tracks of the warriors. Wondrously high, worms have stained it. A host of spears hungry for carnage destroyed the men that marvelous fate. Storms beat these stone cliffs. A blanket of frost binds the earth. Winter is moaning when the mists darken and night descends. The north delivers a fury of hail and hatred at men. All is wretched in the realm of the earth. The way of fate changes the world under heaven. Here is treasure lent. Here is a friend lent. Here is a man lent. Here is a kinsman lent. All of the earth will be empty. So spoke the wise in heart. He sits alone with his mystery. He is good to keep faith. Grief must never escape a man's heart too quickly, unless with his might, like a true warrior. He has sought a lasting boon. It is best for him who seeks love. Help from the Heavenly Father where all stands firm.